So now in this video, I uh, actually uh, miswired this, and I know why, what I did wrong, I should say, at the moment. So I do have the power on, as you can see there. I do have the current set higher than I should have it. I should lower this down to uh, 20 milliamps, just so I don't uh, blow anything if I uh, short circuit something or miswire something. So um, we have this here. This is supposed to be a time delayed off uh, LED. And um, so I grabbed the orange jumper, which was the wrong jumper to uh, grab for this. It works on this side right there to uh, positive because that was my goal to get uh, positive. If I needed a ground, I could use the uh, orange jumper, but I like to uh, color code them where the, the warmer colors are more positive. So we got a yellow here and I will go to the switch. So we're not going to get anything yet because I have to close the switch to uh, start this circuit and uh, usually I'm going into the wrong spot again there we go so so yeah just wanted to uh, mention that it's really easy to uh, miss wire right there especially if you're making a video not paying attention so in any case now we got the LED on came on practically instantly it wasn't uh, quite as instant as it would be if uh, we were just switching it directly um, but you saw it came on quick and now it is fading off so now I do have a schematic for this and uh, I made it for a series where I numbered them but uh, in any case we're going to reuse it. So got the 2N3904, it's an NPN bipolar junction transistor. The emitter would be the left pin but since this is facing to the right it's the uh, bottom pin, base is the middle pin and collector on top. So emitter, base and collector and when I close this uh, switch we turn the transistor on uh, pretty quickly and um, almost you're close to instantly um, but in any case now uh, transistor is pretty much on fully and uh, the 220 ohm resistor is limiting current through the LED so we got uh, this current path going through the base we also had to charge the capacitor which is why it probably took a slight period of time before it turned on but it looked like it turned on uh, pretty much instantly so the capacitor will charge and then current will just keep uh, flowing so we got uh, 10,000 plus 100 ohms of uh, resistance setting the current you know basically 10k now when I release the switch now um, current can't go through there has to go through from the capacitor I should say and um, so as a capacitor discharges its capacitance and the uh, resistor there will set how quickly it uh, decays down and dims the LED. And now we'll take a uh, closer look at the uh, circuit. So 220 ohm resistor protecting the LED. Make sure you put the LED the right way. If you accidentally put it in backwards, then it won't light up. And uh, we might have a slight glow now when I turn it back uh, the right way because it's a timed fade off. Um, yeah, it's got a little bit of glow, um, but it's got to be turned the right way. And then the transistor again, you can see the flat side there is to the right. So emitter, base, and collector up there. To the base, we got the 10K resistor and a 100 microfarad capacitor. I don't think I mentioned that uh, before. Um, and uh, we also got a 100 ohm uh, resistor right there. And uh, we may not even need uh, that resistor, but uh, I added it. To prevent basically a spark I think when I close the switch but we can use a low value resistor there um, there won't be much current um, if we use a low value resistor there will be briefly but as the uh, capacitor charges which is uh, almost instantly then current will just a small amount of current will flow through as we hold the button and of course once we release the switch now it's whatever the energy storage in the capacitor is its voltage and the resistance there uh, delaying the uh, discharge and thus delaying how uh, quickly the transistor turns off. Now, um, when current gets low enough, because um, the transistor only has a certain amount of gain, then the LED will fade. When there's a little bit of current uh, flowing, that doesn't necessarily mean the LED will be on fully. It depends on how much gain the transistor has. So if it has a gain of 100, you need uh, about one milliamp of current to keep 100 milliamps of flowing. And uh, if you drop below one milliamp, it would lower that 100 milliamps. Of course, the LED doesn't have use that much current, but it's the same principle at uh, lower currents. So in any case, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.